that's lethal guys we win we actually win this game with chickening shark chickening for the win happy thanksgiving it's guaranteed lethal look how the shark is just growing to get enough for lethal here hell yeah brother i can't believe it What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today I'm really excited for this deck. This is the uh, Binary Stars Shark Chickening. This is a major control splash deck. A little different than uh, the decks that we've done like this in the past. Uh, we are not running fireworks. I think that's a mistake. This is a proper control deck so you can actually remove things on turn one with Bungie. If you don't have Bungie, you can just place a barrel of dead beers in front of whatever they played on turn one. You'll get a lot of value controlling their turn two play. Uh, another really good card to do is the Imp Throwing Imp. And of course, Barrel can then splash the Imp Throwing Imp and make a lot of guys around the field. Um, turn three running Laser Base Alpha. You can also do some kind of combo with any of your early games for run since we're running plenty of it, even something with Smoke Bomb. Uh, this is another activator for a really a lot of things in this deck, especially like the Barrel of Dead Beards will lend you two damage to whatever it's fronted besides for exploding and splashing around the field. Uh, good for uh, activating the Imp Throwing Imp. Really good even just for activate, just keeping your Tinklosaurus alive because every time you just move this into a different lane that's very often all it needs in order to actually get more value uh, especially if it's uh, being smoke bumped into a deadly uh, laser base alpha because uh, that'll make all of its uh, special shots be deadly now for the late game it's all things that benefit that can be activated not only strong cards but can be activated by splash so the binary stars doubles the attack the damage of everything that you do so it can be anything from your uh, barrel of dead beards this actually does double damage to your own guys uh, but your conga is going to be doing uh, extra damage again i think this is an underrated control card also for turn two especially if you play it on turn four in the laser base alpha then that one damage it does will actually kill something automatically which is really cool um it'll be making all of your the, the binary stars is making all of your imps See, very often imp throwing imp can splash just a few imps that only have two attack, but all of a sudden these guys are doing four uh, when you have the binary stars. So the other card we're running as a finisher is going to be Sharktronic, which means anytime anything takes one damage, they're going to die. Uh, we're also running um, the Gas Giant as a finisher, which even if it's removed, it still does five damage to your opponent's face. Also, when it's hurt, it splashes around, so... Uh, you're gonna have a lot of ways of sort of either we building up lead. those little one damage to be able to kill something which is very useful uh, or be able to outright just destroy things if you have a shark on the field binary stars let's say if this lives you can then chickening which is gonna damage forward everything on the field if you have a shark on the field this will absolutely wipe out their field so again this deck could be um if they save a lot of their removal for the late game the deck could be a little bit weak to that again the reason shark is not like a top top tier card is because if it just gets removed by shamrocket this can get removed by berry blast but um hopefully you really have enough threats on the field early uh that will be berry blasted or will be removed by some kind of hard removal that uh you will be able to get value out of these finishers uh and there are plenty of them i mean running up uh, plenty of fives and sixes here uh let's see how this deck does hope you guys enjoy um i'm definitely open to making changes as this goes on uh so i'm gonna make some small 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 scale changes um just depending on what works and what doesn't and with that in mind we're gonna do some live stream bets as per usual if you think this deck will win eight out of ten vote yes seven or fewer vote no over here at the live stream twitch.tv forward slash prime up uh, so get rid of the super late game i like this three and four really would like a little bit more early game though especially chomzilla could get off fast with like haunted pumpkins so. we'll get rid of the laser now all right that's actually a decent starting hand i really hope this is a haunted pumpkin deck because then we're just going to be gaining so much of an advantage here too bad is that the deadly thing i'm just gonna close this later in the video <laughs> Just like that for <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, that's fine. But ends the day if they're passing, and we're passing too. There's the aggro-ish play. Nice try. I like the chickenings too because people typically don't play around them, and they can sometimes get a ton of value. Shut up. 
If I am wondering if you could change your mind about the tomatoes or oranges discussion. <laughs> You're leaving tomatoes. <laughs> no. It's on. It is on. I'm gonna play this here because we, we need to do something to answer this. Man, getting a barrel of dead beards or a Congo would be really good right now. Or our Tanklosaurus back. Man. So, a little bit slow, especially Captain Cucumber conjuring all these cards. Really just didn't get any of our minions. We need just an imp throwing imp or something here. This is becoming insane, actually. Not in a good way. This does reduce four damage from his field, so. He got the turn four Pecanolid. Captain Cucumber. I maybe should have bungeed this last turn. Alright, we're likely blocking. Let's see what happens. He's not gonna really want to front this because, I mean, people, no one expects binary stars, but it, it'll, it, there's no way to win a trade. Okay, he did it. This does one damage, by the way. Oh my gosh. This is, is this strike? No, it's not strike through. This is turn five. Oh, so this is fine. Okay. The block. The block. So if I get encrypt, I will use it. This will use two. Do I play this? Wait a minute. Just thinking of the gas giant. Probably not playing gas giant next turn. Yes. <laughs> clone this one damage. Feels bad. This is rough. We're just getting whooped because we have all of our... I mean, look at the trick to minion ratio in this deck. And then look at our hand. We just got all of our tricks, which I don't... We're not running too many... Too many final missions. Smoke, we just need some guys here. So, I mean, I can final mission... This is not... This is not good. I can do this and Deadly next turn. I think I'll just try to survive this turn with Final Mission and Bungie, and then we'll go from there. I really don't like our position here, though. It looks like we're gonna lose this. There's another one. So we can Bungie... So two and five does not win. I think I'm gonna I really want this to go in lane well and one. So six one. Sorry, I'm not really screw this up. I don't know what I'm thinking here. It's guaranteed. I just, I just completely lost my concentration. We need to spurn that, but it didn't work. I have to smoke bomb that one. Or no, was there even a way? It would have done spongy. No, the play was smoke bomb, bungee plumber. Smoke bomb to lane one, bungee plumber was the play. Sorry guys, I just screwed up. Not concentrate. Anyway, we, we were so break there. We weren't going to come back. He had so many legendaries already. Yeah, anyway. It was smoke bomb to lane one, bungee in lane two. Then he would have done seven. And then we do the gas giant play, which, again, <laughs> maybe would work. Don't need two final missions. Alright, this is a great starting hand. You take non-PayPal donations. So you can pay bits on Twitch or PayPal. Uh, I think there is direct credit card through the Streamlabs. So just click that donate button. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Alright. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> so we'll go with the conga now. We'll make it look like a pirate too, because why not? He put it in like three. <laughs> yes, he played into it. Look at the conga getting it done. Amazing. Was not expecting conga. Not at all. So this is weird. I think I'm just gonna set up the infinity. The I'm gonna do this next turn. I think this just goes here. And it'll make a free guy next turn. There's that. What just happened to my sound? Game sound just went weird. Uh, we'll play this here to make it look like we don't have the final mission, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Repeat Moss. I think the Repeat Moss is, in fact, scarier. Uh, this does trade, anyway. I mean, it'll vary. It's a 50 50 chance of just dying here, though. To, like, the imp. Unless the imp only has one health. Alright, let's go with this. No need to dick around here. These do even trade, so worth it. Plus, we get a free imp. I'm so happy. Did the game sound just... What, what happened to the sound on my phone just now? The sound just went down. I wonder what even happened there. I'm so confused. Um, imp throwing imp. Do I play this? I think I just spam this here. And we'll probably deadly. We'll deadly just for a card. Let's see what we get. Maybe a smoke bomb or something. Cool. Literally, just for a card. And see you next time on Prima. We're just gonna spam him. He's not gonna have any lanes. He has only superpowers. The repeat moss combo is like... Scary? Scary as hell. Uh, well... Do we go for the chickening here for some reason? No, it is a shark. It, it takes a lot of resources for Captain to deal 5 damage anyway, so... Give the man a lick. Is that what he's- He has time to shine, maybe. He must. Yeah, okay. So he does time here. Ow. Wee. No, he's gonna do level up. He gets his superpower, he does 19. He does 18. It's lethal. With- with Blazing Bark. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, he does a Gravestone or something. Nice. He's down to two. What's in the box? Yes! Bonga! Bonga carried this game, for real. For real, for real. We got this guy. Uh? Uh? Oh. Oh, he only has one power left. Oh, this is fine. This man dead. Was he really saving his blazing? No, there's no way he actually... He did have bla... Wait. Did he have blazing bark? I'm confused. Well, he definitely has it in hand. He has blazing bark and him big in. He used meteor. There's that, but then it just dies. The Konga chickening. <laughs> Feels bad. See ya. Yeah. It's all BM, I don't care. <laughs> yes! Easy! Got him. It's not even difficult. Whee! First things first. I'm saying. 
Singing Imagine Dragons. Imagine Dragon be nuts. Be nuts. Is this good enough? I think it is. Really good against Guardian. Come on, forget me nuts. Let's go. What's in the second box? Double binary. Probably have that at some point today. See what he third. Pass. Pass. Man, man, pass. Gas. Don't, do, don't sass me. I think this and Smoke Bomb is good enough. Into chickening, we'll just finish off whatever he plays. And worst case scenario, it's just another guy on the field. For... No! Well. Alright, good enough. You can also deadly this if you put something in front of it. He rams one time, I don't care. Maybe he'll just spam useless cards and they'll all die to chicken. You never know. Maybe he'll use this to protect the next card he plays and it dies to they both die to chicken. Egg. Maybe he'll play Astrocado. Maybe that'll happen, you know. That's so, that's so good. Look at the chicken egg, it's a two for one. And we'll still get a card. We'll take five damage, I don't care. No one plays around chickening. Mm-mm-mm. No indeed. God damn it. Okay, we didn't really want that to go to the right. Yep, Kaye. That's our first play game card. He has no idea what that is. The man had no clue. Can't really make a good trade unless he grave busts it. Honestly, just apple saucer trades against it though. Binary star is a little sad. Astrocado seed, yeah, is really, really good now. I mean, he, he kind of has to play around line dancing zombie and I don't know, conga. Wait, he can't play the seed anymore. I don't know what he thought that was, but he was just <laughs> playing it safe. See, this is fine. Now we have um, Binary Bungie, and then we're going to have Shark Bungie. <laughs> it looks the same. I don't know, Turkey's going to carry us to victory, I don't care. Leftovers Binary, so now we're going to kill it. Oh my gosh. Bling. Alright, well, it does 4 damage for no reason. La -dee -da. No ramp for you. Turkey is definitely the carry here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, maybe there are too many final missions. We gotta burn the deadly card soon. Well, final mission just to get leftovers. It's a great idea. Can you please play something really thick here? Play Soul Patch. Come on. Well, it's it's actually the most garbage play, even if we don't have Bungie, so. Okay. All the other kids would be better. Better run, better run. Faster than my gun. All the other... See ya. Bungie Plumber for a 6-6. Not a bad trade at all. And we rolled a 1. All the other... Okay, I'm just burning the deadly. Maybe there aren't too many tricks in this deck. This happens every single game. I don't know what's going on. We have to cut one of the final missions. That seems clear by now. Remind me to do that after this game. Turkey did 12 damage. Not really. Shark did 5. Turkey did... 7? No! Oh, no! Oh. 
Why is this going here? Why are you... Why are you... Uh, let's see what's in the box. <laughs> what a waste of deadly. Oh, you're so late. Oh, yeah, the kids were confronted. We have inv one environment in this deck. It's not really enough, though. Man, the soul patch is gonna kill. The soul patch is gonna be harsh. <laughs> Why did he drag this to heights, by the way? Why didn't he drag it here? Oh, because I can't play so far. We need the environment. It's like all we need right now. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. He's just gonna play Soul Patch and we're dead until we get an environment. That's really what's going on. We have no harder removal on this deck. And. <laughs> Damn it. Yay! <laughs> right, at least he can't play Soul Patch. Yeah, again, cards like Cop Cannon is just too good against this. All the other kids with the pump dump kicks better run, better run. Uh, 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 uh. I have no idea what to do here. I guess we'll block this. In some limited attempt, attempt of actually winning. Like, uh, these final missions are so bricked. Very brick. Much so. Is Robo Shark an Austin Powers reference? Wow, he didn't do anything. Okay. Yeah. He gets five. We cross the block. We take this. Roll three. Yes. Oh, we got we got a chance. We got something going right now. He plays Walnut for some reason. I guess he needs cards. He just passed turn ten. I don't know what's going on. Yes! Chickening! Uh, if he doesn't have an answer to Shark, the Chickening could win? Just play... just play Soul Patch. That's fine. That's lethal, guys! We win! We actually win this game with Chickening. Shark Chickening for the win. Happy Thanksgiving! It's guaranteed lethal. Look how the shark is just growing to get enough for lethal here. Hell yeah, brother. I can't believe it. The shark value. Let's get some infinity clones up in here too. Why not? Why don't you? They're on. Heck yeah. Please, June 27th. I've been getting pretty good at writing the date in the uh, description of the Prime of Gaming video. Hell yeah! Thank you. Dama baby, you saved my life. Okay, what do we need? What do we need? We need more guys. We need more early game presence. I think we have to go with Kanga. Kanga's been probably like also eh, two smoke bombs is probably enough. What else should we run in this deck? There's a lot of options. See, that's the thing. We could just run Quasar. We could we could run Fire Rooster. Fire Rooster's pretty good. <laughs> just running Fire Roosters. I don't know. let run another Tanklosaurus. Fruitcake, really? We don't. I don't. I don't like feeding opponent cards. And we have. It, it doesn't really synergize with this deck since a lot of times one damage is better. It's just a good seven, you know. I, I feel like Fire Rooster could be good. We just run it as a one of though. It feels sad, man. I like the Fire Rooster though, just sort of as an option. We could run just two Fire Roosters and three Kongas. Kongas so good though. This is what the deck looks like. It's a hot mess. Maybe we should not run Tankalosaurus and just run like Fire Roosters and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think we need still two smoke bombs. 
Uh, let's just make a mess. <laughs> I feel like making a mess today. On your mom. On all your moms. Big fat mess. La dee da dee da da da. I'm gonna make some spaghetti and meatballs. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make some pasta sauce. All right. So that's the deck now. Oh my gosh, it looks it looks hard. And that's not even the deck. I completely missed the shark. So this is what the deck looks like. Enjoy. Enjoy the hot mess. No, it still looks bad. I'm gonna have to. Uh. Maybe I should just make the deck list a little taller. No, that's gonna look way worse. The shark's a three of. Shark should just be a four of in this deck. It's kind of like oh, I don't know. All right, here's version two of Infinite Sploosh. Sploosh Infinity. You don't need card draw for the tanks to tank Lasaurus to be a good card. Necessarily, yeah, obviously, it, it synergizes with card draw, but I think that's that's a, a fallacy. That's like saying that Triceratops is bad in a deck with no with no card draw. Think about it. Just think about it, guys. Um, all right, I think that's good enough. Hell yeah! We're starting with this trash. Um. Uh... We use him. I think the Infinity Clones are going to be a little weird, but they're better later, and it also gives us the guy in the water. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Prime, move the deck list to the top left of the screen so we don't have to look at you. Thanks a lot. Please don't go to lane one. I think it's bad. It's bad. Just remove binary stars. One of the whole points of this deck. I think not, Scott. Yeah, this Triceratops is gonna be around for a while, but it'll die to one damage eventually, and that's what matters. I'm addicted to soda water. He just. Wow. Wow. Not cool. In fact, uncool. That's... What? So he's doing it next turn and stuff? I don't really get it. In fact, he doesn't splash ever. He had instant regret? <laughs> no. Just wanted to develop this. Eh, that kind of makes sense. Do it, do it, do it, do it. I think this goes on the ground. We're taking five more damage here. Fry, when are you gonna use the no card deck? That sounds like a great idea. Best idea I ever heard. I don't really know what that rumble does. Is he gonna grow this somehow? Oh, nice! Quite nice. Okay, so he's trying to splash this down. Where? My dear God. This guy's got the pressure coming. We don't really have any way to follow this up either. Maybe the tankless service is a mistake. I don't know. What would we ditch it for? Just more fire roosters? Or... Maybe we just need Pogo. Really, probably Pogo would just be better than <laughs> than the two fire roosters and the two and the tankless service, right? Not like that. Uh, so we're gonna do the deadly barrel thing. We're gonna take seven. You have plan food just wins, but we have to put this on the ground. So very sad day for all the Jews. But, uh, hopefully he'll just have a clear field here. Clear old field. Hopefully he'll commit another card, too. Just play a big yes! Yes! No time to shine. Oh my gosh, he's doing eight. All right, well, we're back in the game, technically. We still have, we're going to have, not say, we're going to have four health left because of these splashy splashies. Uh, hopefully these activate before the imp. No, <laughs> imp is dead. Imp is definitely dead. Bye bye. Bye bye. And where does the binary stars go? I think it just goes here because 
Even though it likes to be on the right to double this damage, but he does win with four damage here. Okay, we're still doing eight. I'm scared. No! <laughs> Uh, it's not lethal. I don't care. It's not lethal. Nice play. Huh? Where is he? Yes. Okay. I mean, he only has two cards, but uh, well, we need like Shark Bungie could go a long way here. That is not good enough. I mean, this could. I mean, the the barrel. I mean, it, it could control what he plays. It's so awkward. I love your videos, Fry. Keep up the good work. BTW. I can't see Pikachu. Pikachu's hiding. He's taking a nap. He should be there. There. He fell off his blanket. I'll go fix him. Brainana. Brainana, we live. <laughs> Wait. Uh. Uh, yeah, yeah, we definitely did. He got Brainana from him, and it doesn't even matter. It didn't, it didn't do anything, it just... It just, yeah. It just, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so return two. There is a mistake here. I think I'm gonna just run Pogo. I think we can make this deck less of a hot mess. We need that good play to keep in the game. Okay, running Pogo, I don't care. Screw explanations. I don't owe you guys anything. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Poor Pogos. I know Trapper Zombie looks good, but it's not, guys. Trust me. It's very bad. Is this laser too slow? Really, at the end of the day, it seems like the laser didn't do anything. We should just run Trapper Trapper territory for early game. It's more practical. And then just run... Just run Trapper instead. All right, let's just run Trapper. Well, no. Well, if I run one barrel of barrel of uh, barrels though for Deadly. Well, you don't have to. It's probably not a good idea. Should I just run Trapper? Let's see what happens. <laughs> we're we're experimenting. I'm also gonna try to win the next six games game straight, but you know, <laughs> chances are yeah, kind of dwindled. The laser did seem way too slow. I think the trapper can combine with chickening. It kind of like makes a couple other things better. Conga really and trapper is and laser. It doesn't really justify it. At fry underscore m underscore up, you should run a rare combo called Pogo Yeti Mug. Pogo? <laughs> no, no. That's exactly what we're trying to avoid today. <laughs> we're not. Oh. That close disappeared. Ah, <sighs> take out gas giant. I don't think we can. We're not gonna have enough late game. All right, looks good. We're only running like five activators, so we're gonna hold on to the smoke bomb here. See what happens this game. See what goes on. Yes. Hey, yes. Pain in the A-yes. Maybe he'll rumble it because he thinks we're setting up the final mission. It's like the fake the fake final mission. You really know what I'm saying. The smoke bomb bungee actually kills this. We don't even have to commit the deadly. Perhaps we shan't. I guess if he makes it another amazing play here, we'll just do the deadly play. Or maybe we'll just pass and then do it next turn. All right, that settles it. All the other kids, but the bum, 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 but the bum. Um. All right, here's a really weird consideration. He's always drawing a card from Captain Cucumber here. We are doing this this play. One second, guys. Do we want to take one damage or not? That's the only difference. And this also ends up on the ground is the other difference. I'm pretty sure we like him charging our block meter here. Really weird. But I'll take the one. Here we go. And we'll just chicken in this. I don't know. Yippee Kaye! Bitches! He dead! He, he dead! He dead! He dead! Hey! 
I don't know, is chickening better? Maybe we can save the, the, the this for... I think the binary stars comes better if we have a second minion on the field. So let's go with this plus Bungie to kill the Bananasaurus Rex or whatever he plays. <laughs> yes! yes! Guys, I'm telling you, Kanga is so underrated. Okay, it doesn't actually kill this one, but it's still good. Look at the underrated Kanga in its natural habitat. Now the binary is see the binary is a lot better if you have minions set up already. Even a pogo on four. So let's do the binary here now. Oh, where is man in for demand it in for it? The man? Infrared. Infrared man. That's a really good shamrock. That's good for us, because he used it really on a two drop. And now uh, he won't be able to use it on a six drop later. That's cool. <laughs> Um, do we just chicken in here? We could just chicken in. How about this plus chicken in? And it'll actually live and just be set up for like a later turn. I know this does two damage to our binary stars, but I don't care. We'll probably just be able to kill whatever he plays anyway. No! <laughs> okay, well at least trade now. Huh? Alright, good enough. The barrel, no, the barrel actually doesn't even explode. That's yeah, fine. All right, binary chickening for four damage, and then it, it trades with a potato. It's okay. Uh, yep, shark. As long as he doesn't play another potato, we'll be good. Nice try! That whole plan goes down the bungee hole. The bu 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 bungee. So we're doing six damage. Look at the shark getting some heat. Got some heat going on. There's another bungee. Another one. La 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 la. Alright. It's better than the binary here, it just does more damage. I don't really need to double anything here. Party. I was looking for a miracle, I don't know what he's looking for. Get this weak stuff out of here. Okay. If we bungee this, it's safer technically, but if we get this, he would have to block, which he will block, he'd have to get not only get one in three time to shine, but also roll double ones, which is another one in nine chance. So one in 27 chance of him winning versus 26 out of 27. This is guaranteed lethal. He has nothing that deals with the water lane in his, in his kit, in his super power kit. So yeah. So yeah. Don't roll a one. Don't get time to shine. No, 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 do not roll a one, do not roll a one, do not roll a one, do not, oh my gosh, 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 hallelujah, folks, that almost went horribly wrong, just horribly, god damn, What's going in the fail count? As the decoy fail. <laughs> I love my life. Alright, we're three and two. I wanna see the pogo get some value. We need really minions to be set up before the binary comes up again. It also it takes pressure off the binary stars if you have other threats too. Got it. Plus now with the pogo, the binary looks like a um it kind of looks That's a really good starting hand. It looks like a like a yeti, because that's usually what comes after after pogo. You like Tank Lothsaurus, they're like, oh, who knows this guy's running. Alright, so we're doing the pogo on four. I'm gonna set this up. You don't really want to put this really in lane four. I'll put it in three. Uh, usually this wants to go in lane four. It's the second barrel. It could theoretically be played on the left and then explode and does the damage immediately. Let's see what happens here. 
Baby shark Probably getting both of these up on the field is gonna be good. We'll, the final mission can just be used later. We'll bungee something, which will die here. He's probably just gonna end up passing instead of playing Strawberryian, which dies on the spot. No, the pro the, really, this barrel would have been nicer here, because then he would have played the berry here, and we would have gotten four damage this turn. But I kind of want to save lane four for the binary stars. That's probably not a good enough excuse. If I have binary stars in my hand, maybe. But, okay, so this allowed... Well, no, that was a waste. I should have played... I should have just killed this using Pogo. That was a mistake. Mistakes were made. That was a waste of a bungee plumber. That's really a useful card later in even a late game bungee, like you're really good in this deck. So this will go in one. Play around double spike weed sector, I guess. That is fine. Boop, 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 boop. These binary stars is better now. He has berry blast. To add pressure, toxic waste in. If you need things that are going to go to the left, though. The left of the binary, so before it dies, it's actually getting value. It really could be we're going to have to redo, like, kind of like, the the correct thing would be to reconfigure the deck, but there's going to be actual more threats. Maybe just, like, con man, I don't know. I don't know what it would be. Probably just pirates. <laughs> they, they All roads lead to pirates. We're just going to chicken in here, I think. There's not a lot of things to- oh my gosh, this guy's so annoying. Can you play one more card here, please? Alright. I really wanted to just use him to to draw a card. It's about as much as it does. You can activate a Pogo or a Congo again, but... Go with that, man. Alright, so... The shark later is better. This is gonna be better here. Kinda sad. <laughs> uh yeah, these games are taking a long time. That game is go past turn ten. Interesting. Yeah, we can't encrypt this. It's a little bit awkward playing on curve. See, really, this deck's supposed to be played off curve. You want binary plus bungee. You want shark plus bungee. But, I mean, maybe we need, instead of gas giants, we need five drops. Duh. Okay. I'm switching gas giant for mix of grave digger. Of course that's what we do. Because then we can play binary instead of on turn five, play it on turn six, and combo it with something to protect it. And then play shark on seven. That's the problem. The gas giants are the problem. Okay. Guys, I think we figured it out. Uh, oh, oh my gosh. It, it's just my side sink. It didn't drop the card. And then it. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, we'll probably get a good chickening here anyway. Huh? Fine. <laughs> Whoopsie baby. Yeah, I got five free damage there. Oh, uh, what am I doing? No, man. It's just my muscle memory to drag this up and click it, and it just didn't respond. Again, I'm doing using the side sync, which is mirroring this game over from my phone. That's a really sad cherry bone. Extremely sad indeed. Oh, we're gonna heal this, actually. Maybe not, though. Oh. That's cool. <laughs> so much shark. Do we do this? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing right now. More sharks. Curve means the okay. So the, what the real curve means is when you're building a deck, you want there to be like a lot of early game and then less late game, which is kind of like a curve graph. You know, there's more on the more, and then it it 
as it goes by, it's less. You know, fewer threes, fewer fours, even fewer fives, even fewer sixes, you know? So, but the curve has sort of loosely just become to mean, um, like, so if you're playing on curve, it means you're playing your five drop on turn five. It's kind of weird, you're right, it kind of loses the meaning there. Uh, yeah, it's just cherry bombing us. We're, we're really getting away with this game, this kind of garbage game here. He doesn't have anything. We're just gonna like final mission. So five, well, six two two. I don't know. Let's play around cherry bomb, I guess. We'll play on the gravestone too. Let's just do it like this. And we have a final mission for Casey. I don't know. I don't know what he's gonna play. He really might do like Sergeant Strongberry and then sour grapes. Still doesn't kill the two sharks. I don't know. Yeah, these cherry bombs are getting. <laughs> Not, not how it's done. Just not how it's done. Shark making the dramatic exit. I know, I could have saved the chickening. But <laughs> look at these cherry bombs are breaking. They brick in hard. We actually don't win here. Which is very. S oh. Yeah, we do. Well, okay. I mean, if he kills this, then he usually wins. Should I final mission the shark to face here? <laughs> you know what? I just feel like it. If this makes us lose the game, I mean, he'd have to block, kill this, and then the guy has to land in ring two. Exactly. He doesn't have anything that can just block. Well, if he blocks it with bubble, it doesn't matter. And we win. If he gets rained, then it's straight up. Straight up. <laughs> Where did all my sharks go? Three at one point. Alright, 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 alright. Guys, this is gonna turn this deck into a force to be reckoned with right here. Besides for Pogo Mug being a thing. Not running Yeti. It's early game splash control into Pogo Mug mid. It's a binary plus a lot of one drops. Really nice for running the trapper territories now. Just to have a little bit more ones. And then this into another one. I think this is I think this is the deck. I don't mind having Pogo. I know I just said that we're not doing Pogo Mug today. <laughs> but it's not the Pogo Mug. It's not the oh I'm gonna take over the game with Pogo Mug. Is I'm gonna set up some threats on the field and control the opponent on turn five. So I have the luxury of playing binary and six. The reason we've been forcing the binary on fives is because we're not running any other five drops. And our four drops, again, in post Pogo, is not, are not really playable on turn five. This is the deck now. This is the <laughs> deck. People voted yes. I'm just kidding. I think that is the correct play, though. I'm, I'm scared of this guy with the Sergeant Strongberries. I'm not going for the... He kind of had, like, a brick hand with all these cherry bombs for about 80 turns there. But anyway. <laughs> Final mission of the shark in our activator is throwing it. Oh, the irony. We're gonna look for that solid early game. I know Pogo Mug Mug looks good. Let's get rid of those finals. Uh, alright. That's as good as gonna get. We need an environment to be able to deal with cycle, okay? Hopefully this is just aggro, because we can deal with that actually quite well. I think we go Infinity Clones here. Because one of them hitting an Admiral is fine, and this- we just- with the smoke bomb and the bungee, it just gives us more... Um... It, it gives us more versatile plays the next two turns here. We can always bungee this here. It's not he's not gonna grow this. It's fine, it doesn't really do anything. Rain? Oh the misery. I'm just trying to think what I would get. I really might just not bungee well, I kind of like him hitting me again. For one, it didn't do anything. He might play a bean here. We might need this for something next turn that's more valuable than the Astro Shroom. Yeah. 
So we'll definitely bungee it here. Let's see what happens. Wow. You're annoying. So he just plays that straight up. Oh. I should have smoke bomb this. That's a pretty good smoke bomb, actually. Oh. Okay, so there's the trapper. So I, I don't think I pogo. I think we have to develop the trapper as soon as possible. This is Astro Shroom. Ugh. Second Astro. Really weird that he's playing the second one already. Though. Third Astro. Feels like an overcommitment. Don't get pun. Don't get puff shroom. Don't get puff shroom. This whole lane is probably going to get blocked this turn. I'm going to final mission this turn. I know Pogo is really suck. Yeah. There you go. We blocked the back too also. Cause the in the front. Still not in good shape though. Really not. Pogo Mug is not what you need to get in this matchup. So we're probably just going to take the L. Unfortunate. Fourth Astro Shroom. I mean, what has he played? He's only played Astro Shroom, Admiral Navy Bean, and Shroom for two, and Puff Shroom, and and, and, and Planet of the Graves. I'm guessing that. Oops. I just did the wrong one. I'm guessing that's his entire deck if we're getting soft pack. Like, really? I, I needed to bounce this. I just gave him a Shroom for two back in his hand. Because I'm ranting about Hex. In fact, we'll never know now because he's just going to play his Shroom for two. And win. And he has another Puff Shroom, really? Really? And Berry Blast. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Four and three. <laughs> he just had four Astro Shrooms. And a planet. We got the trapper one turn two later, else we would have won that. I know it's sus, but I mean it happens sometimes. He didn't actually play more than four of any cards, and he did was running at least six different cards in the deck. Berry blast. Who run? You wouldn't run berry blast in that. Maybe you would though for the early game. I don't know. It's really hard to know if people are soft attacking. Let's say he wasn't, and count as a loss, and that's the bets too. Feels bad though. We're running three trappers too, just did not get them. We got Pogo Mug against Psycho Cow. The answer is no. Too bad. It's a mug. Either way. Alright. Probably just got lucky and it was legit. Probably. This is cool. Try when will this video out? It's usually within a week or so. We've really caught out. It used to be like it took months to upload, but I have someone editing the videos for me, which makes it go way faster. I just make the thumbnails and stuff. Thank you, Dandy. I don't know if you guys remember Dandy's stuff. He's the frame up gaming editor. Slade still does the highlight videos. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Um, we can actually. We can at. Well, I think this is good enough. We can encrypt it, it'll be fine. We need the organized grave there. For sure. Who does that? Rumblies. Rumblas. 
Double strength. Uh, I don't think I play in crypt. You're the nightcap. Pretty damn good hands. Pretty damn good. All right, so let's do this now. Draws the card, and we'll just do the pogo player. The chicken. Let's go for pogo. Pretty good. No, that's the only problem with this play. He does four more damage and does another third here. Hopefully that's all he does. And he clears Thank my Kevin field Trump. here. It's so annoying. He had the perfect dance. Could not have gotten any better than that. Bruh. Now what do we do? So obnoxious. Not hacking, by the way, yet. Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta get him. Laugh. Oh. It draws two more cards. Harsh. We really have to bounce those two. We're not gonna be able to reactivate the phone. We, he'll, 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 if we, we could. He'll draw two cards if we put the encrypt the phone over here. It's not worth it. That's fine. That's Infinity Clones number three and four. <laughs> we got a couple. Of yep. Now we can play some sex. Maybe encrypt this. We'll see. So we can check in next turn now. He doesn't have the grave list. It means he'll do two and he'll draw a card because it's supposed to double strike. Chicken is looking good though. Looking awfully good. Oh, I think I'll play this. Well, let's play it here. Yeah. Because this lane dies, he might put something in this or this, but the, it'll combine. Lost. Might smoke bot. Well, this will probably die to the chicken wing anyway. Growing. So now we do need the smoke bomb. Uh, so chickening smoke bomb looks awful. <laughs> we more value. Too bad that I didn't go to lane two. Uh, I really wanted something to proc with luck so we can do six instead of just doing two now. Packs should you buy? I, in general, recommend premium packs. And after you feel like you have a lot of the bait, you know, the uncommons and rares from premium, then start buying Galacta. Buy them in order if you're less. Okay, so Mug looks cool. Um, Shark is probably better here. Shark final mission kind of finishes whatever. We can also do Binary, which has a lot of damage to the field. Shark is probably more easily removed. He hasn't really had the Grave Buster, so probably doesn't have that. Final mission does uh, 16 damage. <laughs> Pretty good. What's that? Uh, no, this is not playable now. Wow, now we need a block, big time. It's cost four, because we forget me not. So now we're gonna have to mug. We probably will block here. Strength? Deadly. We'll do that. We're not going to be able to do it next turn with the Forget Me Nuts. So might as well get a card. There's Pogi. I might just Pogo now. So Time to Shine wins. Did he rumble yet? I don't remember what superpowers he has. Hopefully it's just Holoflora. Yes! 
Whatever the last power is means. What does he have for the last thing? We could Pogo Mug. Yep, that's the play. It's, well, is Mug, is Pogo, well, it's probably Mug Pogo, technically. Mug. He has a, a grave removal, he's gonna win anyway. We need a leap! We need a leap! And Mug's in one, so we just bounce lane one now. He does 10 damage. Thank you, Bastino, for the primally. And again, the gravestone really clutch here to block this pod fighter. So we just straight up win the main one. No questions asked. Asked. If Mug Final was maybe the better play. Could be. Now, well, Mug, yeah. Could be Final was better than Pogo. Well, Pogo is basically as good. He'd have targeted removal. Alright, ladies and gents, we got him. Hell yeah. Wait. That's what happened. He just died. Something crashed on my computer. What's the deal? One second. Fix this up here. It's really not working. Right <sighs> okay. Oh, we're fighting through now. Alright, one, two, swash, buckle my shoe. Party time bonus attack, I just don't, I don't, I don't know how to make that work consistently. I've tried it before. I would need another amazing idea to combo with that that would make it worth it, because with what? With repeat moths? It's just too slow. With B-Rex. It's really hard to get party time. It only has two health. And for something to do a bonus attack, which costs four. Every bonus attack card basically is for time to shine costs four. And you definitely don't want to force your time to shine. And then even if all that happens, and the party time lives, and you get the bonus attack, then it draws a card. <laughs> That's the, the total sum of what happens from basing, building an entire deck around party time. It just... That's the problem, so I would love if someone gave me an idea that made that really worth it. Party time seems some some viableness. Maybe that'll be the next prize. So you gotta get I don't know, I don't have an idea. I don't know what it would be. Bonus attacks are very expensive. That's the problem with party time. And per that expensive thing, it has a very weak ability, which is just draw one card, relatively. Alright, so that is fine. I'm throwing in the best answer into this. So that is what is happening. Chicken strips or chicken nuggets? I like whole pieces of chicken. My preference. Not much damage. Yes, Pogo getting it done. We, I think it's gonna be Pogo and Crypt into Binary. Avoiding lane three, and Binary definitely wants to be here. That's a good bounce. Oh, we. Doesn't really matter which one we encrypt. Yeah. 
Now yeah, we have binary and smoke bell. Binary and trapper looks good. Probably just thinks another pogo. Rotobega. It's probably the one getting bounced. So this is awesome. Not really much to do here. It's so cool how the two two pogos end up killing four fours. So this is countering his onion rings. We can do two extra dance instead of six, and so we'll do eight. And we're playing into the middle lane. He used blow, so he doesn't have a superpower. I think we'll just save this. I think uh, final. I didn't actually calculate what would happen if we since doing six. You know, playing smoke bomb would make final mission lethal here. So yeah, that probably wasn't the same. So it's gonna be Kanga. Um, the one we final mission is almost always just gonna be this. And we we'll still have like smoke bomb or trapper, looks good. Uh, so Kanga plus Trapper kills this. I might just smoke bomb the binary stars now. I mean, we could final mission phase. See, this would have been better. I should have smoke bomb last turn. Mistakes. We're blocking the five anyway. I think we're just smoke bombing them. Because really, this is the same thing. It's eight plus two. So the same chance of final mission winning is just smoke bomb. Should be good. No. And he could just get super and kill it now. We're actually double final mission for next turn. <laughs> Um, all right, this is useful, I'm sorry. You're sharp. So it's just double final mission. Yeah. Dragon would suck though, big time. Uh, double final mission still works against Great Zucchini for guaranteed left go. Charge! Get wrecked! Good job, baseball zombies. You gotta tell them once again. Alias! Alright, we're in a 6 and 3 scenario. Let's try to pull this, this last game out. For the YouTube. What's your thoughts on Headstone Carver? Seriously underrated card. Headstone Carver into Pirates is just so good. It gets so much value for a one drop, and it's really difficult to remove on one. It has three health. Ridiculous. It's like a, instead of an aggro con man, it's a value tempo con man. Uh, I'm serious putting it in the same degree as con man. I don't know where I've just forgot about Headstone Carver since set one. And it's, it, I, I wish I would have, if I would have realized that during the tournament, I would have ran Headstone Carver in most of my decks. Most of the zombies. Sneaky, sneaky. All right. So, let's see what we get. We can get rid of one of these kind of guys. Right, let's go. We'll go Mug. Fake Housewife. There we go. That is fine. Let's do the fake, um... I really want to do the fake um, squash buckler. I wonder if I just put a lane four just for the extra mind games, making it look extra like a squash buckler. Oh, it's a... He thinks it's a squash buckler. He's so much as trying to just desperation chump block it. Operation desperation chump block. No one expects Congo. This is just the no one expects it deck. No one expects chickening, no one expects binary stars. We could just use Smoke Bomb as a control card here. Should be okay. La la la. 
We could save the bungee. I I'm thinking of smoke bombing this here and then just encrypting it. Yeah. <laughs> we. <laughs> now it kills this. Hmm, Trapper to play around Pine Club? I don't think so. It's so good with the shark later. Yeah. Uh, this, 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 this OBS just keeps crashing. I'm not sure what's going on with it. The rest for today. OBS. No grave removal, so it's just so good. You look thinner and happier, man. I just trimmed my beard. It makes me look thinner. Happier? Yes. I've gotten a lot of things together in my life. I'm really happy about that. I really want to play instead of Mug. I kind of want to. Mug actually reactivates Kanga. This is some nine head. Let's go. All right, we'll just Mug. Okay. We'll play Mug Trapper next turn. It's not gonna be able to reactivate this fire. Ghost. Mugs here. It'll probably just even trade against. Uh, he'll, he actually will get another shot. Too bad, man. <laughs> Budget leap deck for HD a thing. I mean, they're super rares. You kind of need the interdimensional zombie, but maybe not. Okay, so he has nothing to do. Kanga's doing one damage a face. Good job, Kanga. Keep going. Now, it actually causes the mug to get blocked this turn, usually. Roll another three! Come on, Pogo, you can do it. Yes! Kanga, you're amazing! <laughs> the mug would have gotten blocked. It's the opposite. Uh, so now we'll do this into Trapper, and then we'll do this play next turn. I think we take those. Bum, bum, bum. So he's running a lot of environments. He's probably just running Colonel Corn. He's gonna just heal his entire health back. La -dee -da. Uh, you know that. Oh, he's doing some. Look at the fancy. Look at the man. Miss your fancy pants. Look at look at the heels. Look at, look at the heels. Look at up. Look at up. Look at the heels. So what are we conging? And this is a mug. So we are Kanging. Um, maybe that was a mistake. I mean, Colonel Corn doesn't kill sharks, so. Eh, that's fine. This guy's got this guy's got certain strawberry combos and all kinds of stuff going on. So sharp. So the, the I mean he has to deal with the sharp. We're dealing five damage. I don't know. Not easy for solar flare. You gotta have squash or like I don't even know what. Ice forest. There's some cheese. Oh my gosh, he's cheesing the heel so bad. <laughs> Come on, man. Bruh. We need a leap. Imagine we need cheesing a leap. heals that badly. Fry Daddy, will you do another PVZ roast? He's procking the no. He's procking the block. Anyway. Deadly Yeah, for more cards? Maybe. It's so weird how Deadly has not really gotten value. Huh? We'll keep it. So that dies. And that dies. So you can't do the heal stuff anymore. They're doing seven usually. Please don't block. Oh no. Thank you, Porphyrin. So Burnak for 21 and Porphyrin, welcome to the fly boy. Bye, Shark. There's binary now. So binary. We'll put this here and we'll bungee something, I suppose. Well, I suppose. Or we'll just deadly. Smack. I'll probably just bungee the face for the win. Okay, he's looking for the miracle. Here we go. <laughs> Vanillers. Very blast to face for the loss. Looks like we pulled it off here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Four plus six. Jeez. Easy claps. All right, guys, seven and three. That's fine. That is totally fine. I think we kind of mixed this deck up, and since we've really made the, the mug and the more early game and got rid of the, some of the fluff, this deck really, really is shaping up. This was a really, really fun stream. Kind of a, a, a new thing. I love how the early game not only controls, but activates the late game. Brilliant. Absolutely marvelous. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was... Did we have double bungee plumber to face? Oh, yeah. Here. <laughs> that was the binary sploosh deck with shark. What a great stream that was. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace is try. <laughs>